Hey man, how's it going? Hey guys, we are live, and welcome to this week's episode of New Player Training Sessions. Today I am joined by J-Rock and Viz. Why don't you go hey, ahead? Hey, how's it going? Why? Uh, we joined a private server. It's a it's a 2v2, so four people maximum. Uh, we There was one random person in here, but... It's still uh, in there. Well, once, you know, we explain the situation to him, hopefully it won't interfere, and uh, maybe we'll get him in Mumble so he can learn a few things. So yeah, this week's installment, we're uh, going over the Warden, the Pathfinder, and the Assassin classes. Uh, pretty interesting. Last week we got to, well two weeks ago, we got to get a really in-depth analysis of how the Pyromancer and the Shaman really break down in some really good ways to uh, utilize all their, their entire kit. Yeah, uh, this week we're going to be going over the Assassin, Warden, and Pathfinder. So, which one do we want to start off with I first? think that uh, we should start off with the Warden class here. Why? Um, I think that's, that's a good what idea. I'm currently locked in as. I think that is a good idea. Nice, you are on the enemy team. Do you want to go uh, Shaman, maybe? Uh, sure. Does this random know what we're doing? Uh, we'll drop down. If he gives us any trouble, uh, it'll be a slight delay, guys, but, um, I informed him what we were doing, and hopefully he won't give us any trouble. Alright, so, uh, yeah, this is the Warden class, uh, Sure. Her basic ability is the mouse one. It's called Slash. A lot of people don't know that this actually applies a healing debuff to the target. So if I was mouse oneing, he would receive less heals or heal for less. So a lot of people don't know that. It uh, regenerates 20 uh, energy upon a hit. And that's pretty, it's just pretty straightforward. Um, just mouse one. You don't have to be too close to use it. You can actually be pretty far away, so you don't have to be hugging the character. So it's got a good range on it. It's pretty nice. Uh, your main energy, well, your, your energy resource uh, to regain. Now, uh, your second ability is called Shockwave. Now, Shockwave is a group AoE stun that has quite the distance. And it stuns them for about three seconds. And it's a really, really strong ability. Uh, that group AoE stun can definitely turn the tide of, of the battle. Uh, landing that on a healer as he's trying to heal or something like that, delaying them, is a really good way to interrupt their casting. So it's really important that you try and stun as many people as you can with every stun and to use that whenever you can. Now the next uh, ability is, I, I really like this ability a lot, it's called Vengeance and it's really unique. I haven't seen an ability like this before in another game. Uh, Vengeance, as seen there, grants a stack to the Warden. Now this stack, what it does is it increases the damage you do the more stacks you get it does an AOE around you, so as many enemies that are around you, it'll give you more stacks. So if uh, Y had fellow teammates around, it would give me a stack for each enemy that was around, that was close to me when I used this Vengeance. Now, you use these Vengeance stacks for two other abilities that we're going to discuss later, and it's really good to try and keep your Vengeance stacks as high as you can and to use that ability often. Alright, the next ability is known as Charge charging leap. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you lunge at the enemy and it, depending on what focus you have, it will slow them if you don't have the focus. I have the focus so it's actually a stun but it has a shorter range. So it's a fairly, you know, 
With the non-focus variant, you can charge really, really far. This is about the max distance you can charge with the with the uh, focus variant, but it's a very strong ability. It's what helps the warden stick to his target, stay in the fight, and that way he can always be on the target he wants to be on if you just use that ability. And it's pretty much their main engage. Like when you're running at a team, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to you know, charge into their team. That's how you engage on them and then maybe use your vengeance stacks. So that's the charging leap. Pretty straightforward. Uh, the, next fo or the next ability is called shield storm. This puts the warden into a spin and damages all enemies that are nearby. It's uh, probably the, one of the strongest abilities that the warden has currently. Um, I'll demonstrate it right now for you. Pretty unique ability. It has a fairly low cooldown, only 10 seconds. So if you have the energy to do it, that's going to be your biggest, you know, chaining that into your other abilities that's going to put out the most pressure for you now what's unique about this ability is you can also use any of your other abilities while you're spinning you can use your slash which is your mouse one you can use your stun you can use your charge and your vengeance and some of the other abilities that we'll uh, talk about so it's a really strong ability that's your main damaging ability and uh, next we have raise morale raise morale looks like this it's uh what it does is it works with your vengeance stacks like we talked about earlier so your vengeance stacks say you know you have one or two that increases the effectiveness of what raise morale does raise morale it grants nearby allies increased movement speed and damage uh, so having high vengeance stacks if you need to you know put out more pressure you can run this aura and all it does is it's an aura that just drains down your energy until you run out which mine will run out very shortly